Hi everyone! I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Welcome back to Ling's Cooking Escapade. In today's video, I'll be sharing a dish with you guys called crispy chili beef. Let's get on with the preparation, shall we? Firstly, slice up some garlic. Then set it aside. Same goes for the red shallots. Slice them up. You can use white onions if you wish to. Place it together with the garlic. Cut the celery into 2 inches long batten. Place the celery with the rest. As for the carrots, cut them up into the same length as the celery. Joining with the rest of the ingredients. After that, slice the green chilies. Set them aside too. Last but not least, let's slice up the red chilies. All right. We are done here for the vegetables. Let's move on with the meat. In today's dish, I'll be using two pieces of nice ribeye beef. Tenderize the beef with a meat tenderizer on both sides. Next, let's cut the beef into thin strips. You can also use sirloin steak for this dish if you prefer. Then, place the beef strips in a big mixing bowl. After that, season the beef with some white pepper powder salt, chicken powder, bicarbonated soda, soy sauce, and add in some water. Give everything a thorough mix. Try to separate the beef strips as much as possible. Now, add in the potato starch, plain flour, followed by the egg. Mix them up well. After that, 
leave the beef to be marinated in the fridge for 30 minutes with cling film on. In the meantime, let's prepare the fruity sauce by adding some water in the mixing bowl with honey, plum sauce, fruity HP sauce, tomato puree, brown sugar, salt, and homemade chili oil. Give everything a good stir, set it aside until it's ready to be used. I will leave the homemade chili oil link on the description box down below. 30 minutes is up, remove the cling firm, give the beef strips another good toss, Then get a small amount of beef strips, place them onto some potato starch for coating. Gently separate the strips apart so that each one of them will be evenly coated. After that, place the coated beef strips onto a plate and coat the rest. Next, let's heat up a generous amount of oil in the pot. When the oil reaches to about 180 degrees Celsius, carefully pop in the beef strips and fry them for about 2 minutes. Leave them to fry for about 30 seconds before stirring it. When they turn into a nice golden brown colour, remove it from the oil onto a colander. and fry up the rest of the beef strips. Now, let's heat up some oil in the wok. Once it's hot, go in with the sliced garlic. Followed by the red shallots. Sweat them until it's fragrant and golden brown. Then add in the celery and carrots. Give all of the ingredients a good stir fry. Pour in the fruity sauce that we've prepared earlier on and bring everything to the boil. Once it's boiling, lower the heat down and let the sauce simmer for about 2 minutes so the carrots will be cooked thoroughly. After that, add in the green and red chilies and give the sauce a good stir. When the sauce thickens like this, it's time to pop in our fried beef strips. Give them a quick toss. When all of the beef strips are coated well with the sauce, it's time to plate them up. Guys, I hope I've made this video easy to follow and enjoyable to watch. If yes, 
please give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit on the notification bell. So I shall see you all on my next video. Now let me try this mouth-watering crispy chili beef. Mm. I can still taste the crispiness of the beef. Tastes really awesome. Really, really nice. Bye-bye, guys.